All right, uh, I'm just gonna do a short segment or a short little video on this. This is a uh, King Starboard, and as everyone knows, and as I just uh, found out in the last day or two, this stuff is very hard to uh, get to adhere to itself, and also to pretty much anything else using just uh, any kind of standard adhesive like silicone or JB Weld, uh, epoxy, uh, quick stills, etc., etc. And I didn't know this whenever I ordered a sheet of this, but uh, I ordered it to do a, uh, uh, a little custom project on my jet ski and using it for uh, backing to mount some speakers to. And I got everything in to start the project and then come to find out I didn't have the epoxy. Well, I was going to have to order it off the internet. Well, I started looking around and the epoxy... Uh, that they recommend on their website is either Lord 7542 AB which I didn't really even look for a price but you have to um, find a distributor and then order it from a distributor I imagine it's probably just as pricey as the 3M Scotch Weld 8005 which is also the other product that's recommended I know for the 3M by the time you buy the dispenser gun and one of their tubes it's gonna run you between fifty to eighty dollars with shipping and everything else and I was not about to spend that much money. Uh, I found another company called Tap Plastic that makes a stuff called Polyweld that is specifically made to bond this stuff together. Um, again, I would have to order it off the internet. Uh, it's anywhere between $15 and $40 a tube depending on what size you get and then their shipping is I think the cheapest I could get it to Texas from wherever they're at was $10 to fifteen dollars somewhere in there and that was ground shipping UPS I would have had to wait four or five days um, this uh, starboard King starboard if you don't know which if you're watching this video you probably do it's polyethylene it's a polymer plastic um, also known as HDPE and it is a pain in the butt to get to adhere to anything you have to actually hit it with a torch uh, which changes the molecular structure of it that allows it to be able to take a bond so you would hit it with a torch and you can actually see where this piece I hit this has not been hit with a torch and this part has the sheen that it gets from it which might be because I got a little bit too hot but I was just trying to do a quick test um, and then you test it with water if the water sheets then it's good if the water beads then it's not been uh, heated enough and um, basically uh, looking around, it's from what I could tell, all of these adhesives that work with this are urethane based adhesives. And I happen to stumble across uh, this stuff right here, which is a JB Weld Plastic Bonder. And it is way cheaper than any of these other products and also seems to work just as well. But I don't know that hands on experience because this is the first time I've ever worked with Starboard. But this is done with the plastic bonder this was eight bucks at uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts and um, I could get it on the shelf it was a five minute drive to O'Reilly's and I had what I needed and I could uh, bond this stuff now earlier today I put it on it says it's got a 15 minute set time and a 30 minute cure time I actually think that it's a lot longer than 30 minute cure time I would say probably 24 hours especially if it's going to be some structural um, deal that you're going to be using it for um, like say mounting a transponder to a boat uh, or something like that like the stern of a boat because um, this is this has been sitting up for maybe six hours and I can still kind of dig into it with my fingernail a little bit but at the hour mark I took just with my hand and this pair of pliers and I uh, tried to break the bond on it and I could not. Um, all I did was just tear up the plastic, the uh, starboard. As you can see this is from earlier when I had tried it, this big chunk that almost is missing now. So for this video I decided I would get two pairs of pliers and uh, see if I can get two pairs of pliers on this thing and actually see what I'm doing and we will try and rip this stuff apart. And I'm having a feeling it's, I'm doing a twisting motion, and I'm having a feeling I'm not going to be able to rip it apart. But yeah, I'm twisting the crap out of it. 
and it's just ripping the plastic up. So this video is intended to just say that anybody working with King Starboard, if you did not order an adhesive and you want a cheap alternative, $8, O'Reilly Auto Parts, or just do a Google search for JB Weld Plastic Bonder. Uh, in my Google search, actually Walmart, some Walmarts carry this. So you can actually maybe find it at a Walmart too. Eight bucks, it's a lot cheaper than all these other adhesives that are specialty adhesives for this stuff. Um, and just hands down, it seems like it works really great. So just an FYI. Later guys.